thank you so much for taking your time to talk to us, Scott. It's a pleasure to talk to the mastermind behind SMIC. Such an amazing brand, really popular here down in Victoria, and we love it. Just starting a little bit with the broader difference amongst, we've gotten Za, the hipster twin, which is really popular here, um, and the Spitfire as well. Uh, what are the main differences between those three? Obviously, shape to outline, to rock align, to fin setups is the main thing. And then you'd be thinking about what conditions you would be using these different boards in or, or what style of surfing that you like, basically, because I'm constantly changing between the three of them all the time, depending on sort of my mood almost, but also the, the wave conditions that we have at the time. The hipster twin is definitely the lively, sort of very tight turning, tight radius, fun in smaller surf, but still handles a bit of juice. Very little drag, sort of fast, a good acceleration with the, the twin fin feel, like just a very loose electric sort of feeling. It's also very good balance. Like, so it's got that sort of fishy, eggy outline, which makes it very popular for a very stable board that delivers a lot of performance. I think that's why a lot of people like the Hipster Twin so much because it's, you know, it's easy to use. It's very plug in and play, user friendly. Would you recommend that one for someone um, just starting to, yeah, kind of do some sup um, in the waves, the hipster twin, due to that stability? Very much so. Like sort of entry level, but still you wouldn't quantify it as an entry level board because it does have a lot of performance in its DNA. Everything old is new again thing. Twin fins with the swallow has been around since the 70s or whenever Mark Richards was, was doing it. Liven up, loosen up, you know, a big board such as a sup, it just works really well. There's a special combination between its outline curve, the, the rocker, and the concave and the double concave and a lot of factors which combine to make it a very successful board and a lot of people like. We've definitely seen that um, down here. It is one of the most popular and everyone loves it. It's just, as they say, it's got that lively feeling. That's the most, the main feedback we get. Everyone loves that maneuverability that they can get from it. Um, it's, it's a brilliant board. And it comes in two constructions, the hipster twin. Tell me a little bit about those. So there's, you know, I'd call the standard construction is the, is the full carbon, full PVC wrap construction. It's an exceptional price for the construction or the work that goes into it because they're hand laminated PVC, uh, Divinistel wrap. Every other brand goes into a mold. All our boards are hand, you know, CNC cut, hand backing bag hand sanded hand finished like they're, they're all custom boards so to speak compared to what the other brands are doing the internal core of the eps the lightweight and there's that the, the divinity cell core is the the high density foam that's wrapped around that lightweight core mm -hmm. and then glass and then you know a layer of carbon on the deck so it's got the right flex to an exceptional weight but that's our high end or, or our standard and then there's the eps wood which is like the the price point which is what a, a lot of other brands sort of standard construction is, which is just, you know, the lightweight EP, EPS foam and then, the, and then the glass and the wood deck so, standing um, Now your SMIC range, um, they also extend to the longboard style. So we've got the hipster twin longboard, the style lord, um, which is definitely one of the most popular here, as well as the bonza longboard. Can you say, for example, about the hipster twin longboard and what makes it so good? It's horses for courses and style of surfing. The Hipster Twin Longboard, like the Hipster Twin, it gives that tired, biting, sort of manoeuvrable turn. But it's also something that you need to get onto the tail to ride like that. If you're a little bit of a, maybe a novice longboarder, you might not get the full appreciation of the Hipster Twin Longboard because there's so much length and you're standing in the middle of the board. You really do have to get to the tail of the Hipster Twin Longboard to make it come alive. The style lord, it doesn't have the single concave in the middle of the board. It's got quite a lot of V and double concave. So you can, it's got that more sort of traditional longboard trim from the middle of the board, sort of relaxed style up and down to the nose. And then the style lord, it's also got you know, a little bit more area in the nose. So it's more designed for nose riding compared to the, the hips to twin. Um, so it's more your traditional longboard where the hips to twin is more the turning longboard. Okay. The third longboard, which, which just, just made sense because um, I really do like the Bonza style, which I haven't really touched on yet. 
and uh, people that ride it, they like it because it's 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 really fast. Okay, yeah, it's and much. it's uh, all that deep concave sort of flattens out the rocker, and it might not be as tight turning as what the hips between longboard or the style lord is, but it's a really driven sensation. So when you put it on rail, it really accelerates through the turn, not in the tightest of arcs, but really like accelerates through the turn and into the big wave longboard because it's taken that out of here in Margs and it just handles incredibly well when you start driving down the line and, and the rail to rail transition. I guess um, to narrow it all down, why would someone choose a hips to twin longboard or Bonza over the Style Lord? Would you- it's a good question. <laughs> um, the Style Lord is a more of a single fin sensation. So you, it's more of a back footed turning than a rail turn, which is like the hips to twin. You're not really pivot turning a hips to twin where you pivot turn a Style Lord. So you'd say that the Style Lord is the traditionalist longboard. The hips to twin is just a sort of a, a designated carving longboard. The Bonza would be the least nose righty board because it's got a bit of rocker, so it handles a bit of hollowness to a wave. Yeah. So it's, I would go towards the other board if you are really into nose riding. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I mean, having such a wide range and such different options um, for whatever the rider wants um, to be able to suit them. Um, that's great. It's it's outstanding. Yeah. Smick has been absolutely like up here with that. It's it's really good. And we love to have it. We love to see it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this. Um, just to get a little bit un- more understanding of the range, specifically the longboard range and why some riders would choose some over the other or what would benefit them. Yeah, we'll see you guys out there in the water. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.